What is going on, Limited Army fam? What is going on, Pokemon Go trainers? We got a video that's gonna be featuring some new possibilities for Community Day, all right? We got our next Community Day gonna be taking place in June. We're gonna go over and see which Pokemon it could possibly be. Um, right here, you guys can see in front is a list of all the Community Days that we had in the past. Starting back in January 2018, Pikachu with the move Surf. And then February was Dratini, Draco Meteor, March 2018, Bulbasaur, Frenzy Plant. April, we got Mareep with Dragon Pulse, <coughs> which was one of the hardest. <laughs> Mareep was one of the hardest community days because I didn't find as many as those as I would have liked. Um, May Charmander community day with Blast Burn. Larvitar taking place in June with Smackdown, July, Squirtle with Hydro Cannon. Um, that one was pretty cool uh, with the sunglasses, Squirtle. That was very unique. Um, August, Eevee with Last Resort. That was probably one of the better community days that we've ever had, the Shiny Eevee, because there's so many different possibilities with the evolutions. Um, also, we had September, which was Tr Chikorita. With Frenzy Plant, October, Beldum, Meteor Mash, Cyndaquil, Blast Burn in November, December. Uh, the best of 2018 had a mix of every single shiny uh, chance Pokemon that was previously before December. So November, October, September, August, July, June, May, April, March, February, all the previous before then. That was pretty cool. January featured Totodile, February Swinub. March, Trico, April, Bagon, and then uh, the one we just had, which was Torchic with Blast Burn. So if you guys can see a pattern, they they were featuring a pattern with a starter Pokemon, uh, a rare 10k Pokemon, starter Pokemon, 10k Pokemon starter, 10k starter, pretty much like so on and so forth. So with that being said, we're going to go over and take a look at which pokemon are gonna be featured yes first pokemon that we got right here shiny porygon community day yes it is a very very talked about uh that i that i've heard a lot of people talking about shiny uh porygon being released would be a pretty cool idea for pokemon to actually do it uh porygon evolves into porygon 2 and then evolves to porygon z and it says right here Porygon could be uh, due to its ultra rarity and very unique evolution line. So yeah, you got to use a special evolution item to get yourself the Porygon Z. I think it would be pretty cool to see Porygon featured in the community day for June. That would be pretty ideal. We're going to go over and talk about the moveset that will be featured with each of these that I'm going to be talking about. So... First one, Porygon, Porygon 2 to Porygon Z. That one, I would be completely okay with it being in June. The shiny looks good. I like blue shiny, so this is pretty awesome. Okay, next one is Slackoth. Typical, typical uh, one to think about actually being released. Slackoth is a pink shiny. It's very noticeable uh, rather than it's normal. So that's pretty cool. Then it evolves into Vigoroth, and then Slacking, which I think the shinies are just, I don't know. I think Slackoth is probably the best shiny out of the, the family, but Slack, uh, Vigoroth and Slacking just doesn't look much of a, of a change, but maybe it'll look different just like the Torchic did on your phone or on your iPad. You've seen it in on your screen, it might be looking different, it looks better. Um, it says right here, Slackoth could be due to his 10 kilometer egg appearances. Also, Slacking would also have the E move Smackdown making meta relevant. All right. But there's a different twist to that. We'll get into it a little bit. But just uh, just the reason why I think we could see shiny Slackoth community taking place on June. Another option we got, obviously, the most talked about what I feel will be the next community Pokemon is actually none other than Ralts. Ralts has to happen, you guys. Ralts is definitely the most talked about in the, the previous months. So it has to be 
coming out in June. I mean, I'm about like 80 to 90 percent sure that this is going to be the next Community Day Pokemon. Uh, we got Ralts, evolves to Curlia, and then Gardevoir, and then Gallade. So two evolution line shiny Pokemon. That is fantastic. That is something that would be ideal and what all Pokemon trainers would love to see. Um, I think Gardevoir and I think, I mean, like, like I said, I love blue shinies, so this is a really good family. But the Gardevoir shiny is definitely one of my favorite shinies of all time. I will absolutely love it, even more so than the Gallade. Um, right here, you guys can see it. Ralts could be a uh, community day due to the fact that it is rarity in the wild. Also, appearance of 10 kilometer eggs. None other than that, it's also a female and male evolution line, which makes it very unique. So, we could definitely see that being a feature of an upcoming Pokemon uh, community day. So anyways, with that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the stat sheets here really quick. Gardevoir. All right. We're going to go to the Gardevoir stat sheet and we're going to see the special move. All right. The special move for Gardevoir is none other than... Drum roll, please. Future Sight. Future Sight will be the Community Day special move for Gardevoir. And then we go over to, uh, we over, go over to Gallade. Gallade also has the same exact move. If we scroll down here, you guys can see, you guys can see that it also has their Future Sight. You guys can see right there, it is another move set that can be acquired with none other than Gallade, but also the uh, the Gardevoir. So Gardevoir and Gallade can both have the move Future Sight. So look for that to be the special move for Gardevoir and Gallade, the Ralts Community Day. Um, over going over here, we're gonna go check out Slacking. Slacking special move is gonna have feature Hammer Arm. I think Hammer Arm is going to be the special move for the Community Day. It's either going to be Hammer Arm or it is going to be uh, maybe Faint faint Attack, but I don't know. I think it's more likely to be Hammer Arm because if I scroll down here, you guys can see Hammer Arm is, is in all the categories, okay? You got Hammer Arm there, then you got Hammer Arm there. Then you got, let's see, where's Hammer Arm over here? It's not there, okay. But uh, yeah, I think Hammer Arm is probably gonna be the best one. These are TMs, these are TM ones. It's not gonna affect it. But uh, yeah, Hammer Arm is gonna be ideal for slacking. And then Porygon Z, we're gonna go over and check the database and the special move will be Zap Cannon. We can see Zap Cannon or it's either gonna be a uh, try attack, you guys. Zap Cannon or try attack will be the special move for uh, Porygon. Because he could already learn Hyper Beam. I mean, if he could already learn Zap Cannon, it must be Signal Beam, but, or not Signal Beam, sorry, Try Beam. Not Signal Beam, Try Attack. So Try Attack or Zap Cannon are gonna be the two to look for uh, for Porygon and Z. But uh, yeah, guys, just a quick little video letting you guys know of the upcoming uh, Community Day Pokemon. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think we're going to get Porygon? Do you think we're going to get Slackoth? Or do you think we're going to get Ralts? And if you guys think that we're going to get... There's still a chance we might get Trap Inch. I mean, that's that's out there too. We could still see Trap Inch. But just a quick little video letting you guys know my thoughts. Which ones I think are going to be featured to, for, uh, for June. Most likely it's going to be Ralts. Second off is probably going to be Porygon. And then last but not least, Slackoth. So... I'm hoping for that one, and then I'm hoping for Porygon. Last but not least, I'm, hope, I'm hoping for Slack Off. Either one's good. New Shinies are always awesome. But uh, yeah, guys, just a quick little video letting you guys know about all the information you need to know. Let me know your thoughts. Drop a like. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get up there. Let's try to hit that 20,000 subscriber goal in the coming month or two. All right. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys soon with some more Pokemon Go action. Peace.